What's up guys, today I'm gonna to show you 20 things you may not have known you can do in Canva. Let's just jump right into it with the first one, which is solving one of the most annoying things about Canva, which is when you have multiple layers stacked on top of each other and you're trying to select something underneath something else and it's so hard to get that bounding box around the object you want, try this. Hover your cursor over the object you're trying to select, even if it's overlapped by something else, and hit the command key if you're on a Mac or the control key if you're on a PC, and just keep hitting your mouse button until you get the wireframe around the object you're actually trying to select. So if I'm selected on this white text, but I'm really trying to grab this blue box behind it, I'm just gonna hold down the command key on my keyboard and then click again, and now I've got a handle on that blue box. Number two is that you can import and modify PDFs right in the Canva platform. So from the Canva homepage, drag and drop your file onto the homepage. It'll upload it and you can open it up and modify the contents of a PDF. Number three is freshening up an old PowerPoint. Now you can't bring a PowerPoint into Canva, but what you can do is here in PowerPoint, head on up to file and then export and export it as a PDF. And then you can bring that PowerPoint into Canva and freshen it up with Canva's way cool design elements. Number four is about aligning all of your elements perfectly using rulers. You can enable the rulers under the file menu, view settings and show rulers and guides. Then you can bring out guides by grabbing the edge of the ruler and dragging a guide to your project. And then you can align all of your elements with more precision. To remove that ruler, just grab it and drag it to the side of the frame. Tip number five is about perfecting the spacing and alignments of multiple elements in your canvas. So just select multiple elements like these text elements by holding down the shift key and selecting each of them. And then open up the position menu and select the tidy up option. Now the vertical and horizontal spacing between all of these elements are perfectly aligned. Tip number six is a shortcut for adding text to your project. You could navigate to the text menu on the left side of the screen, or you could just hit the T key on your keyboard to bring up a new text box. Tip number seven is moving elements around in your design with more precision. So if I grabbed this text here and I wanted to move it down, I run the risk of changing the X position on the text. So if I grab this text box and start moving it down and then hold down the shift key, I can only move it up and down, not left or right. It works the other way too. If I grabbed it first, started moving it sideways and then held down the shift key, I can only move it left and right by holding down the shift key. If I wanted to nudge this text up or down or left or right, I can just use the arrow keys on my keyboard to move it pixel by pixel in my frame. If I wanted to move it in increments of 10 pixels, just hold down the shift key and arrow over left and right or up and down. If I wanted to take this entire project and turn it into a square format, let's say for Instagram, I don't have to completely redesign it. Just use the resize button and select one of the square options and I can copy and resize it without ruining my original project. And now I have a square version of the same project that I can tweak as I see fit. My next tip is the layers panel. If you've ever used Photoshop and you miss the layers panel here in Canva, it actually does exist. You just need to know where to look for it. Just open up the position menu and select the layers tab. And here are all of your elements. And you can actually bring elements to the front or send them to the back just by reordering this layer. Anything on the top layer is going to be up front and everything at the bottom is going to be in the back. You can also access the layers panel by right clicking a object in your design, navigating to layer and then show layers. And here they are again. The next one is a shortcut for switching your text from upper lower to all uppercase. So you don't have to select this text and retype it. If you want it to be all caps, just select it and then select this button at the top of your menu. And if you change your mind, just hit it again. My next few tips are all about working with shapes in Canva. But before I get to that, if you like this video, if you feel like you're learning something, let me know. Give me that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. Let me show you a shortcut for adding a shape into your design. Now you could head over to the left menu and select elements and find the lines and shapes category and find the shape that you want to drop in. Or if you want to drop in a square or rectangle, just hit the shortcut R in your keyboard. Next up, if you wanted to add a circle, just hit C.
And if you wanted to add a line, just hit L. Let's go back to that rectangle for our next tip. If you wanna resize this shape, but keep it a square, you can constrain the proportions by grabbing one of the corners of this rectangle, holding down the shift key as you scale it up and it stays a square. Now, if you wanted to do the same move, but you wanted the shape to stay centered on your screen, just hold down shift and option and then grab that corner. And now you're scaling up from the center. Let's say you've uploaded your own image to your Canva project, but the image has a lot of space around it and you wanna crop in. So when you're navigating in your design, it's easier to select elements underneath this image. If you wanna quickly crop everything in evenly around that element, you're gonna hit shift and option and then grab the crop tools and you can evenly crop in around that image. My next tip is about linking individual elements together so you always move them as one unit. So let's say I always knew I wanted this white text and this blue box to be stuck together. I just select them both, right click and select group. And now it's all one element and if I change my mind, I can always ungroup it. My last tip for you is actually outside of Canva. Canva has pre-designed color palettes that you can use in your projects. Designing color palettes takes a lot of skill and Canva has done the hard work for you. If you wanna find these color palettes, just navigate in your browser to canva.com backslash colors. Here you can preview these color palettes and there are so many of them. You can even pick one color here in this menu and then see color palettes that it will work with. This is so helpful if you're not a professional designer and if you're using Canva, you're probably not. So this is a great way to make your designs stand out. You guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. What was your favorite tip? Let me know in the comments. I picked out some other videos I know you're gonna love and I'll see you again.